Hey guys, it's Brooke Perez, and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Olympic Marseille Caramo where last time I left off. I picked up a win over Leon in the league, and I progressed in the French equivalent of the FA Cup. And if I'm sorry if I sound pissed because as I am. This is the second time I am trying to do this. <sighs> I've gotten past this match and it's the first leg of the little who will get him in the Europa League. Before I noticed that the recorder had crashed at about 23 minutes. So the last few minutes of the Liverpool game were completely gone. And while I was 1-0 up at the time of other coins. But old you would have missed the last 7 minutes. It's a it's a game. I've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. In which I score a second goal in the... Tracy, you missed the whole second half of the Liverpool game. So... Well, I'm just gonna... Hopefully... Get through this. Hopefully, I can... Repeat my performances. Well, maybe I can better my performances because I can tell you now that I only beat to lose one nil on the first go around, and I only beat Liverpool two nil, which probably wouldn't have been enough for a similar for to get to have a comfortable simulation of the second leg to the point where. I have no fear that Liverpool might knock me out. Concentrating, perhaps uh, on the teams, but also these two lads as well. And I have to wait till really late to score. Where to go? Oh, and to do who scored it? And, um, I and maybe this will give me a chance to have a better performance because I was very disappointed that it took me so long, but. I know it's Toulouse played almost very defensive. They really did. I mean, I'm not trying to make an excuse, but they seem to be very bulky in defense. It's something that maybe I just didn't notice the first time around, but this time, him, him. And I don't know how to do that, like, holds his hand up, up, not wanting to celebrate celebration, because... It's former Toulouse player, or Benny, and then who knocked it in the 18th minutes to give him a much earlier 1 0 advantage. And this is already. This is already turning out okay. This is, uh, well, well, still not ideal that the recording crashed. At least I realized it before I saved the game. Hmm. Hmm? And while hmm, I am not too pleased about having to record the whole thing again, and hey, hey, maybe it'll be a blessing in disguise. He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. Now, in the initial video that in the recording that crashed I was talking about my new Pass to the keeper who uh, upload system which will come into effect starting next week you'll see uh, the videos the schedule of what what video goes up on what day will change because of course yesterday I finished Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And I mean, I was gonna implement it, um... I was gonna implement the new upload schedule starting today, but I decided to wait until well, I have Monday. As being the, uh, video that it will be. And the, uh... The schedule, I'll go over it really quickly. There goes the cross. 
evening. Now this will be the schedule up until Batman, until I finish the uh, Harry Quinn Revenge about DLC of uh, Batman Arkham City. Okay, so here we go. Monday will be Marseille career mode, so the video that would normally go up on Tuesday will now be the, the uh, Monday video. And uh, Liverpool will, get, will take the Tuesday slot. Wednesday and Thursday will stay hey, as Marseille and Liverpool respectively. That way it's a nice easy rotation and, and you know you won't get the uh, two days of Marseille career mode, which I realize could probably be a bit boring to see the same career mode for two days in a row. So, like, I still get a decent handful of you who's from Yuga as but I'm assuming those of you guys who are watching that video are really dedicated to so, Errors who don't care about the repet the uh say they lead at the break. I mean at least I'm uh, trying to be unique with the uh double career mode uploads. Um <coughs> as I was saying the uh back to back of the same career modes could get a bit annoying or a bit repetitive. And like I said those of you who are watching in the Tuesday and the Wednesday video, those are probably be watching because you're, like I said, either you're really dedicated or or you're uh, Marseille fans, or you're new and you're just maybe you're, maybe you're new, maybe the people watching those videos are new and just didn't, didn't take any notice of what was posted the day before. Or that could that could be the case as well. Very easily. Um, but yeah. Uh, Friday, like I said, we'll stick a, a uh, Batman Arkham City a Harkwin's Revenge until it, all I finish the DLC. And um, Saturday and Sunday we'll switch with Saturday being Marseille and Sunday being Liverpool. Going to be a throw here. Wait, is that right? I'm trying to think of that right. Yeah, that's right. Saturday was Marseille and Sunday was Liverpool. Nice. Yeah, Saturday was. Wait, is that true? No, I'm not too sure. <laughs> What is his existence? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I know my schedule. But you guys know my schedule as well. Oh, so that's the new schedule. The Friday video will be a uh, another secondary career mode video. So the secondary career mode videos will be getting four videos when the uh, when Batman is done. I may oh, I may wait until oh. Old FIFA 17 to fully implement that. Sure, because I may have to. Because of course, Batman. I think I'll get a few videos out of uh, Harsh Quinn's Revenge. Of course, depending on whether I get stuck on it again or not. But I, I remember getting stuck on it the first time. But of course, second time around, you remember how to deal with it. But uh, there's a certain point that I can still. I feel like I might get caught on again. And, uh, when I get to that point in the uh, revenge, the uh, DLC, he'll be. Uh, I will uh, talk about it. Uh, doing well at the moment. And uh, for those of you wondering, when uh, new games come out, uh, there's no new games that are coming out. At least none that I can play. He, he, I was actually considering starting to do a Pokemon playthroughs on the channel, but I he realized I cannot record my EDS. Yep, you need like a certain like something to you need something installed in your DS 
there's no like there's no Elgato for the DS or if there is it's really expensive. I, I can't seem to fucking find one. This is a fucking nightmare. I can't. I mean, I would just record the screen, but that would be really, like, that would be really hard to focus on. The screen would be really blurry. It would just not be good content. It would just not be. So, unfortunately, I can't do that. Maybe one day, maybe one day, Nintendo will bring out, I mean, seriously, how have they not brought, they've, there's a poke, po they can put out, bring out Pokemon Go for the fucking phone, for phones, but they can't put, make Pokemon, uh, uh, Wii U versions of the fucking Pokemon games, like Pokemon Sun and Moon. I mean, why? Why is there no, no versions of these games for the bigger consoles? Well, well, it can't be a company thing because Nintendo owns the Wii U. And I'm not saying I mean, it has to be on the PS4. I mean, if you put it on the Wii U, people will fucking buy the Pokemon games on the Wii U. People would love to play the Pokemon on like a bigger screen. In, and with like a controller instead of a like a little DS, that would be sick. I cannot be the only one who thinks that, right? I'm just gonna assume that you're all nodding. Pokemon fans will be nodding, and people will be like, "Yeah, Pokemon, that'd be that'd be a hell of a nostalgia trip." Yep, down the memory lane. But seriously, get on that, Pokemon, get on that. Do that now. Do it now. I keep making that suggestion to the Pokemon, to Nintendo, but I haven't heard anything back about that. At the top of the table remain Olympic Marseille. It's just really bizarre that they are pretty much passing up free money. Pretty much. They are passing up free money. That's what they're doing. It's weird that... A company would be passing up free money. I mean, if this was EA, if if Pokemon was an EA sports game, oh, you can bet it, it, they would have it on all fucking consoles. They would be fucking cornering the market. It, they'd be getting as much money as they can because they're greedy bastards. Fifteen points, and then reading up the table. Wait. <laughs> On goal difference. Third. <laughs> Fucking hell, DR. Why did you have to get injured in the last episode? You didn't see that episode. But, yeah, DR got injured. Yeah, Ben Phillips was going to be in there, but I just realized he would have been really tired for the Liverpool game. Because I remember he got in, he really he got really tired during the Liverpool game, and that was really bomb. It was gonna really bother me the second time around. Second time around, PSG still won their match. Assholes! Why can't they drop some goddamn points? I'm trying to win the league here and you are not helping. <laughs> You're not dropping as many points as I would like. Anyway. He... He... That aside, let's get into this game. Hopefully I can score more than two goals and hopefully I can put away Liverpool in this first leg because I would really like to simulate the second one because it would make... And I wouldn't have to... Well, it wouldn't be wasting 15 minutes on the second leg. I, I, I mean, this is a... Big, big first for all my FIFA 16 career modes. It's in like the second last one, Liverpool finally pop up as an opposition team, and not just the team I do my other my main career mode. With. They are still that, but they have not. They are now finally for the first time their opposition. To check it. Also, 
Oh, I talked about in the last episode about checking Liverpool's squad. I did, and they've signed no one. It's pretty much the same in squad that you'd start with if you'd start FIFA 16 and new tomorrow. If you bought FIFA 16, if for some reason you can't afford FIFA 17 when it's coming out in a few weeks, so you just so so like if you're really young and your parents say. Hey, we can't afford to buy you FIFA 70, but we'll get you FIFA 16. How about that? And the kid says, okay. Hey, hey. so he gets FIFA 16, starts off the, the, uh, the game. And he's a really big Liverpool fan, so he wants to start a career mode with Liverpool. So he picks Liverpool. Hey, this, yeah, this, he'd have what I'm playing against. They have signed absolutely fucking no one. Which is realistic, because they may as well sign no one in real life, because it wouldn't. Coutinho. Because, I mean, other than Mane, no one has made me, me go, oh, oh, he could be good this season. Running the ball out of play. Skirtle. I mean... Grinch was pretty good fit in preseason, but it's realistically he's not gonna play a lot in the Premier League, if at all. Well, like he might play a few games towards the end of the season or if someone gets injured. And it's a header. What a fine save. Um Gene Wijnaldum has already he really disappointed in me he's so far. Er, I knew I I knew I had a bad feeling about signing Wijnaldum. I knew he I don't know what Jurgen Klopp has saw in Wijnaldum last season. I mean talk about signing a player on one performance, pretty much. Klopp I don't know if Klopp saw why now to play in any other game besides the game where he freaking destroyed us? Because that's in James Park when we lost to Newcastle 2 0 and Why now them just obliterated us in that game. But I'm pretty sure that's the only time Klopp saw Why now them play because otherwise he would have saw Why now them goes missing and in. Especially in a away game, which doesn't help when you start the season with three away games, and well, technically four, including the Burton match. And while I'm, I'm happy that Anfield is getting renewed, great to get the team upgrade, and I mean. I would. As a Liverpool fan, I think we all would prefer, as much as we love Anfield, I think we'd all prefer a stadium that's at least 60 seats, 60,000 seats. I mean, 45, 46,000, maybe when they've all had all the new seats, all the new renovations, uh, I knew they're... I think they're going to be doing more renovations after they finish the ones they're doing at the moment. Hopefully not. I, I think it'd just be better if we'll pick it. I mean, there's still the option to build a new stadium. Hmm. I mean, Spurs are building a new state. I don't see why the Liverpool can't follow that lead. Or West Ham. West Ham moved from went Upton Park, their home for, for pretty much their whole history. He, he, and while it was an emotion, no goodbye, 
Yeah, I mean, we all was, I think we all saw, watched the final match they had at Upton Park. I have to say, it's so wonderful. Back at the end of the last season. And, and with the new state, they're going to bring in more revenue because they'll have more, they can fit more fans in their state. And, Mm. Which is what brings in the new revenue anyway. Hey, and all that good stuff. So, I, I don't understand why Liverpool just don't do that. I mean, I feel like it's such a simple solution that is kind of being ignored. You know? I don't want to consider that it might be in being ignored. I mean... They did, from from reports, they did look at filling a stadium, but they decided renovating Anfield would be better. Er, and I mean, as much as we all miss Anfield, I think every Liverpool fan would be more than happy to accept, to be, and more than willing to accept a new stadium. Especially if it means means that more her fans can go to home games, especially he, if we eventually get back into the Champions League. Can you imagine the noise Anfield would make? He, Anfield makes a lot of noise. Is at the moment when it's a big international, uh, big European night. I mean, you just have to go back and watch the games against Dortmund and Manchester United. To see the passion that we Liverpool fans have for the European nights. It's, and you can imagine if this was match was happening in real life. If when we go back to Anfield in the second. Like, like the Liverpool faithful will be trying to, to be like an extra man for the to get the ball in the box. Right. Can you imagine if that was 60 plus thousand? Hmm. Sitting on our walk alone. The other team might just leave. Leave. Because, well, I've never... I've experienced a regular Premier League game. It's the only experience... Like... I've been to one Premier League game and one mm, mm, friendly. The Premier League game, the atmosphere was spine tingling. For, I can only imagine what it would be like for an opposition player. So, I mean, like I said, as much as it would... And, I really don't like to talk about Liverpool stuff during uh, Marseille Corona, but I feel like I'm okay because, well, I'm playing against them. There they are. I'm fucking battering them because they've made absolutely no changes to the squ squad. And it's the same leaky, leaky defense. Yeah. I'm going to be comfortably going through to the next round, Liverpool. Unfortunately, he haven't improved the squad to the point where they give a decent account of the team. I almost wish like I could play the team that I've put together. Because I would probably lose the team I put together because they have about five players who are 90 plus. Neymar and Ronaldo, freaking Tillman, and Bale, or Royce, fucking hell. It was just. I would probably get. It would probably be 5 0 to Liverpool if, if I was facing that team. I would, I'm not afraid to admit. I, I, I would be afraid of that team. Unfortunately. Be that. Isn't the case. That's not how this game works. 
these matches. For one, that's a completely different account. And he's shut off now. A well saved. Fair of overs. Accidentally. He's saving. Hang into the wrong. The wrong career mode into the wrong file. Well, so. If you ever wondered, that's why I use two accounts now. Because. I had too many instances where I accidentally over. Wrote a fuck. Oh, back in the day. Oh, uh, luckily. You know that I'm using two different accounts that won't happen anymore. And something else that won't happen is Liverpool getting back into this tie 5 0. I have firmly beaten them and firmly be guaranteed. That, I mean, I would be like, as much as I'd be happy as a Liverpool fan if Liverpool won a match 6 0. Oh. I would be absolutely fucking livid if they beat me 6 no on the fucking second leg. Tim no matter. Fucking hell, man. Why do you have a Y in your name? Come on, never mind. Oh my god, PSG drop points. Yes! Who is that? Troyes. Troyes AC. Is. Oh. My. God. Do. Not. Miss tomorrow's episode. It will be. He did. Episode. Where I win the league title. Yo. All I have to do is fucking health. Just making sure that my math is correct. If I beat Laurent, I'll be 24 points clear. PSG have only 8 games left. That means they can only accumulate 24 points. Hmm. So mathematically, being Laurent will win me the league title, but it won't credit me with winning the league title. I'll have to at least get a draw against Saint Etienne. But just don't, don't miss the next episode, or, 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 or you'll just you'll just regret. It. You will. Oh, because next episode will be he crazy. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, smash the like button if you did, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, you don't miss any future content, and, and to like the new schedule coming in soon. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.